Hey guys, I'm here with Viviana Guzman, the director and founder of the San Francisco Flute Festival. We connected right after I made um, my last video, which is the San Francisco Flute Festival video, and uh, I will magically link it here. I had a little shot of you in it, so they'll recognize you. First off, obligatory question. How did you get started on the flute? How did I get started on the flute? I started music when I was five because I was born with dislocated hips and I was never supposed to walk and I've had 11 surgeries and after my surgeries I basically grew up in body casts and after wow. each body cast, well, so, and the only thing I could do when I was little was read or if they turned me over on the hospital gurney I could play the piano so that's how I started my music. Really? It was the only thing I could do. So in you actually were playing like... Yeah. Laying down. Yeah, laying down, because I lived on this gurney thing. Wow. And so that's how I started my piano. Wow. And then physical therapy was very boring for, you know, a six-year-old or whatever. Yeah. So um, I started taking ballet, dance, and that's how I started my dance classes, too. And then later that As a form of therapy? As a form of therapy. Um, and I uh, specifically did Middle Eastern dance because it focuses on the hip muscles. Again, that was because I needed training, and that's how the whole thing started. It was... Uh, it was so. Uh, it's a lesson on how to take uh, a bad thing, yeah, or t with a lemon make lemonade. You know, yeah, yeah. And that's I feel like my number one goal in life is to inspire others mm -hmm. to take. You know, I, I, the, it's so important to maintain your thoughts as positive as possible, right? You know, and keep and and no matter what, we all have things. We have setbacks. We have things that we don't like that happen and life just treats us poorly yeah. sometimes but you have to sort of get over it and get beyond it and that's just the number one thing to do so oh fantastic <laughs> so did you like pick up flute after you did dance or i did um, well i always wanted to play the flute and that's why um, my first instrument was the accordion actually <laughs> really well my mom played the accordion and so i used to you know play oh. The piano accordion there, and then I got a piano, and then I played piano, and then I played clarinet, and finally, when I was ten, I got my first flute. But that was I. Always, I had a babysitter who played the flute, and I just wanted to be like her because she was this gorgeous, you know, seventeen-year-old oh. beauty, and I yeah. wanted to do everything she did. So. Oh, and look at you now. Uh. So, um, about the flute festival, the San yeah. Francisco flute festival. How long has that been going on? Oh, the first one we did is in twenty ten. Okay. And that takes a lot of effort to do that. So I, I'm not ready to do it every year, so I'm doing it every two years. Okay, yeah. awesome. So now yeah. you guys know, uh -huh. looking out for the next one, which will be 2014. 14, yeah. Okay, yeah. so if you're watching this video <laughs> before 2014, you know the next one, it, it's going to be around the same time, right? Um, no, I'm going to choose something like January, February, because mm -hmm. I found that a lot of... Uh, kids are away from school, away from their areas, away from band, away summer. Mm. It was not an optimum time for younger kids. And so, right, right. and those are the people that I want to draw in. And, mm -hmm. you know, it's the part, younger crowd. Well, it's for everyone, of mm -hmm. course, but uh, I just felt that a lot of the younger kids couldn't participate because of that. So I want to include them. And so we're going to change it to either January, late January, early February. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. So you're still doing dance and you're still doing photography, right? Yeah, well, I basically have thrown all my passions onto the stage. So I started collecting the flutes from around the world. Yeah. And then uh, my guitarist said, well, why don't you start dancing? Because that would be an interesting thing. For you. People come to a flute concert, don't expect the flutists to start yeah. dancing. And yeah, yeah. So it became this sh thing that I just started doing, and wow. the audience would love it. It would, well, of they, would they would remember <laughs> me more as a dancer than a flutist. Go figure. But that's what would happen. Right. And then, I, because I was traveling around, I took pictures, and then I, got, I started taking classes, and I just oh, became okay. a photographer. And right. now... When I'm showing, for example, the Tahitian nose flute, yes, you play it with a nostril. <laughs> that is awesome. That is awesome. Yeah, I spent three three years uh, working in and out of uh, Tahiti, and that's where I picked one up. So I will show my slides from Tahiti right. and play the, the flute right. uh, in my performance. So it just wow. sort of now has become part of the visual part of what I do. Wow, so you really put everything yeah. together. Yeah, That's yeah. amazing. Now, yeah. I know you did, um, for the workshop that you did in the in the festival, uh -huh. you did it on beatboxing, yeah. right? Yeah. Did you start that when Greg Patillo yeah, did it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Awesome. I met Greg in uh, in a flute festival in Milan oh, uh, okay. a few years ago, and 
just, you know, he's revolutionized everything. Oh, and yeah. when he uh, presented us with that piece, the three beats, um, mm -hmm. Annie Wu uh, came to, she won the high school. Right, the, right. And um, so she came to me, she wanted a lesson. And I was like, ooh, I better learn this piece. <laughs> so that's when I got a copy of it. I started yeah. learning it, whatever. And yeah. I just, I have uh, loved it. So now yeah. I just, we needed a, another activity because we thought the cons, the, flute choir concert would sell out and so right, that's right. why we need another activity to happen at the same time and that's why I that's what I offered oh yeah. I see yeah. awesome yeah, yeah no because seriously I think well from from my personal uh, uh, opinion I think that should happen again because <laughs> I think everyone who's gonna come in 2014 will be like ah! okay future plans future plans oh my goodness oh, I have a headache just thinking about them. <laughs> I really wish I could clone myself at least 20 times. You yeah. know, I mean, life is just too short. I and know. there's just too many fun things to do. Yeah, yeah. Next week, I'm going to Italy. Mm -hmm. um, and then what do I do? My mind goes blank. Uh, then I'm playing, oh, uh, National Flute Association, Viviana in Vegas on Thursday night, 10.30 p.m. Got that, <laughs> got that. And then I am, what else am I doing? Then I go to Brazil and play with the... Amazonia's uh, Philharmonic, I think it's called, in yeah, in Manaus. And there's a gorgeous theater there, oh. and I'm playing a solo suite there. I'm playing a, a suite for th of three tangos that I arrange for flute and orchestra. Oh, lovely! And then I get married. <laughs> <laughs> then I go to Mendoza. I have a, in Argentina, and then I go to Chile, and then I'm oh eight countries in Asia, Asian tour in October. Ooh, very lovely. Yeah. Is there anything else that you would like to oh, say? Yeah. The main message that I always like to, like tying it all in again, is the importance of music, first of all, in a person's life, how it can just bring so much solace yeah. you know, and comfort. Um, it's a very creative thing. It's a nice creative outlet. It changes. It can really impact an audience. Mm -hmm. You know, it moves. It's, it's just a powerful, beautiful way to express oneself. Mm -hmm. So I think it's important to incorporate music into one's uh, life. I think it's just a beautiful thing to do. Yeah. And also, I think it's important to live one's passions. Anything that one is attracted to, mm -hmm. whatever it may be, um, if we're doing it, it's, it's, it's astounding how then eventually you can actually make money off of it. Yeah. So I think it's important to be able to to find what it, what it is that moves you mm -hmm. and change and then do that for a living. I, right. I, I just, I, I, I'm yeah. a firm believer in that and I, that's what I've ended up doing with my life yes. and I encourage others to do the same. So. Oh, lovely. <laughs> thank you so much. Oh, thank you, Joanna. And um, you can see her on YouTube as well. You have a YouTube channel, which yes. is Empress Viviana. Empress Viviana. Empress Viviana. <laughs> oh, yeah. And um, I will link your website. You have Twitter. Yes. Facebook. Yes. So go check her out. It's in the <laughs> info bar down below. Bye. Bye. Vibrato is basically the pitch wavering like this. You don't want to do that too much or else you're going to make everyone seasick. <laughs>